Hi guys, how you doing? Um, Trevor here. Um, thought I'd do um, a video on um, reamping with the Helix into uh, Logic. Um, this is a tip I picked up from the Line 6 Helix user group on Facebook. Um, so shout out to uh, Stefan, thank you. Um, I thought I'd do the video so people could see it um, rather than having to read through a lot of text. Um, it's quite straightforward um, when you see it, so um, hope it makes sense. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so uh, first things first, in terms of my setup, it's quite simple. Um, there's the Helix, two quarter inch uh, connections going into um, a set of monitors, um, and I'm using uh, Logic Pro, um, and uh, going into a pretty, pretty straightforward setup, so I'll talk through how I'm setting up each of the individual channels. Um, first thing that you want to do is you want to open up the preferences and make sure that your output device and input device are set for Helix Audio. Here you can see I have a tone set up um, for, for Helix. So this is kind of the starter tone. Um, it's very basic um, guitar input on the left hand side there. You can see the symbol um, and it's just going directly out to the stereo outs. So when I play the guitar, the signal goes directly to the studio monitors um, out. So next thing you want to do is you want to set up your guitar signal so that the Helix sends a dry signal into the recording channel. <clears throat> so to do that, um, you need to set your inputs to 7 and 8 and set your outputs to 3 and 4. Um, what will happen is um, when you play the guitar, you'll get um, a wet monitored signal. So, but you'll actually get a dry signal. So the signal will be dry and it will not be processed through the tone processor in the Helix. So I have my channel set up. Um, the inputs are seven and eight, and my outputs are three or four. Um, you can still hear my wet signal, but the signal that will go in. Um, will be a dry signal, so I'm just going to track that now. So that's the signal gone in, and that's the dry signal from inputs uh, 7 and 8 uh, from the Helix. And you'll see that I've got the output going to 3 and 4. Um, it's the 3 and 4 send that we're going to send back through the Helix to reamp back into Logic. So um, I'll show you how you do that now. What we've got to do is uh, take the input from Logic and send it through the Helix. So go to the input icon here. And what you want to do is you want to change that to USB 3 and 4. Um, by changing that to USB 3 and 4, you're receiving the send from Logic. So we've now sent the dry signal through 3 and 4 into the Helix. And now we want Helix to send back that signal amped um, and we want that to come into a new track. So I've set up reamp track one here and what you'll see is, is that this is set to input one. Uh, it's set to a stereo out here and I've got the record button pressed. So what's going to happen is I'm going to play back um, and record on that track and what should happen is this reamp track now should give me a process signal. So let's have a look. Okay. So I've got my first uh, reamp track in there um, coming off the first performance which is guitar one. Uh, similarly um, I can re-record that reamp track or if I like that tone, um, what I can do is I can set up a second track um, and maybe mix a different tone and go back to Helix. So you can go back to Helix, you know, um, just go back into your amp, um, re-edit an amp, um, and then process that second track, that signal with the same first performance. Um, and that gives you essentially uh, the same tape with, with two different flavors. So um, I've just changed to uh, a solo lead overdrive head. Um, it's still USB 3 and 4. Um, I've set up my second reamp track ready to record. So I'll just record now and we'll get the process signal. <laughs> 